that can be highly unpredictable and what a rich history it has to draw upon. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from North London as Spurs face Arsenal. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. a very attractive match in prospect and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway and it will be an Arsenal free kick well later in the game he might have seen yellow but not at this early point yeah but I'm with the referee it's a foul but no card Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. Alexander Zinchenko. Partey. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, you always feel a bit sorry for teams having to face this Arsenal defence because they have been formidable, Stuart. Well, I can only admire the work rate, the know-how and the desire of their defensive structure. It's been brilliant this season and I don't expect that to change today. Ivan Perisic. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Kane. And with that, the attack fizzles out. White. Jacker with it. And promising stuff from Arsenal. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Granit Xhaka moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass Xhaka oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack
Well, no stopping him. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Emerson. Hoybier. Well, strong play here. And tidily played. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And blocked for now. Thomas Partey. Gabriel Martinelli. He's given it away. Hoybier. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! Tottenham strike first in the derby. They're pumping up the volume, and why not? Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Martin Erdegaard. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? And Spurs come away with it. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. How about the cross? Arsenal pushing forward with options available. But really sticking to their task defensively. Bentancourt. Perisic with the ball. Perisic. Son. Poibier. Keeper had work to do. Martin Odegaard. It's with Odegaard. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Marcinelli, real chance. No oh, keeper in control. <laughs> Favoring the short one. Making sure it didn't get past him. Perisic. Must be! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal.
So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Saka. Now with Jesus. And that is going to do it for the first half. And Arsenal find themselves behind. Interested, as always, to get your assessment. Well, before the game, Derek, I talked about their defensive qualities. But in the first half, they've been too easy to play against. And that has to change up. Into the second half, then. And Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Good movement. Marcinelli. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Gabriel Jesus. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Ivan Perisic. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Kyung Min Son. Promising move from Tottenham. Kane able to get a body in the way. Martinelli. Partey. Losing possession a bit easily. Moving forward effectively. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Granit Xhaka. On to Jesus. Parte. What can they do from here? No frustration for those waiting in the middle. Failed to keep hold of it. Kane. And Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. Martinelli. They've regained possession. Dejan Kulusevski. Good technique displayed. But they dealt with the threat posed. Partey. White. Saka. Now he must favour the cross. Xhaka. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Elects to go short. And possibilities here. Can he finish? There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike.
So back at action, and Arsenal just one behind now. Dejan Kulusevski. He has time to play it over. Corner kick then for Spurs. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Son. A good and fair challenge. Granit Xhaka. Saka. Read it well. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. A delicious piece of skill. Javier, making sure it didn't get past him. Jesus. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Javier. Now Harry Kane. Oh, big chance. Well, what a stop that was. And just five minutes remaining. Parte. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli. The high press was very much on. Bentancur. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. White. Jacker with it. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, they've defended so well throughout the season, but today they weren't quite as sharp, both physically and mentally. They just took a fraction too long to react to danger and that has cost them badly.